and welcome to Bloke on the Range. This is the second video in our series of uh, recreating ERSAT's First World War sniper rifle with an offset scope. Now, for those who haven't seen the earlier video, to which I'll put a link in the uh, corner, this is a Chinese PU scope mounted offset to the left of a Schmidt Rubin 96-11 rifle. And the idea is to relearn working with a, uh, an offset scope. Now, hopefully the zero I got at 50 meters is going to be adequate enough to get on the target, but I suspect we're going to be uh, fiddling with the drums quite a bit. So, let's fire some ammunition and see how we get on. Okay, let's see how yeah, this goes. Let's have fun. Nice. Zero! You shot the miss! Up! Up! Okay. Up! Too high! So, yeah. Left and right was fine, but we're too high, so let's bring it down. Yeah, bring it down for uh, Target number one. Now the helmet is getting in the way a bit. I am resting the brim on the on the scope. So where did this one go? Shot. Twenty. Twenty-six. A little deep. Okay, let's split the difference. Yes. Take this off. Target number one. Eighty. Eighty-six. Okay, that's starting to look like something. Yeah. These markings on this drum are meaningless. It's seriously coarse. Yeah. 50, 58. 30, 38. 38? Yeah. What? Sixty, sixty-three. Well, this is super disappointing. Huh? This is super disappointing. Come down. Well, that was going low. Yeah. But being that far out, a little higher. Sixty-seven. Yes. Eight o'clock position. I'm disappointed. Yeah. This is not shooting very well. This is Chinese code. Well, yeah, quite. <laughs> Like it. Now let's just see if yes. I can do that again. Try again. I had the same sight setting, but I aimed at the uh, ring. A little high. 
Bischoff. 80. 86. Okay, now uh, to see how much this is the limitations of the optic, I'm going to take the scope off and uh, shoot with the open sights. See if that does any better. Make a little adjustment here. Shooting left, so we move the front sight left. It's getting quite warm now. Wie viel? 73. 370. 68. Ja. So, first session with this at 300 meters, disappointing really. Once you're actually shooting at a target at distance, you really start to notice the effect of the fact that if your head moves, the reticle moves. If your eye position moves even slightly, the reticle moves about, uh, up and down a bit. Um, I was finding that, that my windage was fine, but the elevation was uh, a bit all over the place. Now, it could be the rifle, we shot it off iron sights afterwards, and it really wasn't much difference. And uh, to be fair, it seems that in the accuracy stakes, this isn't helping much. You certainly see the target a lot better, and in fact, the optics are clear enough in the middle that you can see the bigger rings on the target and use them for aiming. Uh, aiming points. Uh, the the drums, the adjustment is so coarse that I ended up aiming off using the using the rings on the target as a, as a reference. Um, but yeah, interesting that uh, bloke senior could shoot it out of the left shoulder uh, and still get to the scope. It was uh, interesting, but uh, otherwise disappointing. More experimentation needed, I feel. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. Like and subscribe, like our Facebook page, and I hope to see you again on the range sometime. Bye.